Okay, in this video I'd like to continue on my tutorials in thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. This is video number 39 and I'm going to talk about the Gibson Helmholtz thermodynamic identities. I'd like to draw your attention to my website universityphysicstores.com. So the previous videos to this are number 39 where I discussed the chemical potential, 38 where I discussed the Gibson Helmholtz free energies and number 36 where I discussed the thermodynamic identities in terms of the total energy, the chemical potential, temperature, pressure, uh, the internal energy and volume. So now what we're basically going to do is get our own thermodynamic identity for Gibson Helmholtz free energies. So just to remind us, the thermodynamic identity said the infinitesimal change in the internal energy is TdS minus PdV plus mu times dN. That's what it is. Alright, so we also knew that the enthalpy H is equal to u plus pv. So basically what I'm going to do is just manipulate u plus pv and get, uh, we'll get dh. Alright, so we know that h is a function of uh, internal energy, pressure and volume. That means that dh is equal to del h, del u du, plus del h, del p dp, plus del h, del v dv. In, in general, that's just, uh, that is just a, uh, I don't know, a mathematical property of all these derivatives. Okay, so that means dh, dh is equal to du plus v dp plus p dv. Okay, if you just plug, plug in the derivatives. Or dh is equal to tds plus VDP plus mu dN. Okay? That is the thermodynamic identity for enthalpy. Next, we're going to do the thermodynamic uh, identity for the Helmholtz free energy F. Well, the Helmholtz free energy when, is when you're at constant temperature but not constant pressure. So F is equal to U minus T times S. Similarly, say F is a function of U, T and S. Okay, so that means that DF is equal to del F, del U, DU, plus del F, del T, DT, plus del F, del S, DS. Okay, so the derivatives are pretty straightforward. So when you plug in the derivatives, you're going to get that del F is equal to du minus T D S plus, or excuse me, minus S D T. Like that, minus S D T. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we know that we have du, we can furthermore plug in du because we already have what du is here. So we're going to get that df is going to be equal to tds minus pdv plus mu dn. And then we're going to have our two other terms of negative tds minus sdt. Okay, so we can see pretty straightforward that we have this tds term cancelling here. And that leaves our final uh, thermodynamic identity for the Helmholtz free energy says that df is going to be equal to minus s dt minus p dv plus mu dn. Okay, so that is the thermodynamic identity for the Helmholtz free energy. Okay, next let's look at the Gibbs free energy. So this time we're at constant pressure and constant temperature. That's going to be equal to U plus PV minus T times S. Okay, so look, we know that DG is at this stage, you've done it 20 times. But if you plug in all the values, you get DG is equal to DU plus VDP, and another helicopter flying over me. Okay, so we get that. Once again, we're going to plug in for our uh, for our du. So we get TDS minus PDV plus mu dn. 
we're still going to have other terms of VDP plus PDV minus SDT minus TDS. And that's going to give us the infinitesimal change in the Gibbs free energy. And we can put it all together saying that the in infinitesimal change of the Gibbs free energy is minus SDT plus VDP plus mu dn. Simple. Okay? Now, one last thing to show you. If we look at df, so let's just first of all write down df. The reason these are so good, or so good, these are so useful. Let's say if we wrote down df, like I said, the physicists would prefer to use the Helmholtz free energy, which is constant temperature, because it uh, gives the, the extra degree of freedom with pressure. So f, or df, excuse me, as we said there a moment ago, was minus s dt minus p dv plus mu dn. Now let's look at the partial derivatives here. So if we hold, for example, the volume and the number of particles fixed, we get entropy. Entropy is uh, minus del f del t if we hold the volume and the number of particles fixed. We know that the pressure is going to be equal to minus del f del uh, v at constant temperature and number of particles and we know that uh, we know that the chemical potential is equal to del f del n where we hold the temperature and volume fixed all right and similarly you can do the same thing i suppose with your gibbs free energy and we're going to get the following relationships that s is equal to minus del g del t holding the uh, pressure and number of particles fixed we know that the volume is equal to del g del p holding the temperature and number of particles fixed and we know the chemical potential is equal to del g del n holding the temperature and pressure fixed the point here is that by measuring the Gibbs free energy or measuring the Helmholtz free energy you're able to get these quantities of entropy and uh, chemical potential and for example volume of pressure and that's something which is very easy to do in the lab we're able to control things like we're able to control let's say here we're able to control temperature definitely pressure absolutely we're able to make the two of those constant I said earlier on in a previous video that to hold the pressure constant you just put you just don't put a, a lid on your on your uh, on your your apparatus and by measuring the rate of change of the Gibbs free energy with number of particles you get the potential or the chemical potential all right so that's why these uh, relations are so useful and that's why we talk about the chemical or excuse me the uh, the free energy which is the amount of energy you get back in terms of available for work when you destroy or annihilate a system finally by going from VDP to PDV it can be thought of a, uh, a transform a change of variables which we call transforms and you can talk you, you can be, you, sp you can speak about the Legend transforms and that's going from VDP to PDV. But I don't really want to use that if I'm honest. But it's just in case you haven't heard of it. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And please also visit universityphysicustorials.com.